Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to another song review. Today we're going to be listening to BYOB by System of a Down. It was the winner of last week's poll. I will pop it in here for you to see. And I do know some System of a Down songs, but I don't know this one. And usually what I hear from them, I do like. So let's see. Let's see if this one will be one of those songs too. Let's pop our headphones on, turn it up, and here we go. I don't think I've ever watched one of their... I never saw one of their videos before. That's what I was gonna say. Everybody's going to the party, have a real good time. Dancing in the desert, blowing up the sunshine. I'm really trying to pay attention to the lyrics, so if I'm just focused on that. Everybody's going to the party, have a real good time. Dancing in the desert, blowing up the sunshine. I have to look up exactly what this is about afterwards. I am not sure. Everybody's going to the party, have I didn't know there were two singers. Is that is that just how it always is? Like that. I agree, but wow. That's like a contradicting sound in one song. Everybody's going to the party, have a real good time. Dancing in the desert, blowing up the sunshine. He looks so young. Okay, I'm a, I need to take I need to take a minute and just like 
absorb what I just watched and look into the song a little bit because I I'm kind of gripping what it is about now but I didn't know just to go back to the band for a second I didn't know that there were two singers unless that was just that song let me see doesn't say like featuring anybody so I'm gonna sound like such a noob here I mean I kind of am I only know a few system of a down songs really and the one that I (laughs) really like which in contrast to this let me make sure I get the name of that one right chicken stew that's my favorite system of a down song as of now that I know of um and you know if you know that one it's like okay to go from that to like this that was a lot let's just dive into this a little bit this song is about the business behind war and how privileged politicians start them but expect the poor to fight them yes definitely got that from the lyrics byob is a term that means bring your own booze it is often used on party invitations of no alcohol be served but you are free to bring your own in this case it stands for bring your own bombs i didn't know that I didn't even realize that. This was the lead singer from Mesmerize, the fourth System of a Down album, and the first since Steal This album three years earlier. I remember seeing Steal This album. Like, it was white and had, like, handwriting on it, how people would burn CDs back in the day. Um, They had enough material for a double album, but decided to split the songs into two albums and release them six months apart. The band toured into 2006, but split up eager to work on other projects. When they got back together in 2010, they found they could perform live together, but had a much harder time recording. Another album never materialized. But if it does, it should definitely be called materialized. (laughs) It says here in the 2003 lead up to the Iraq war, System of a Down made it very clear they opposed it and used the video for their song, Boom directed by Michael Moore to draw attention to protests. By the time BYOB was released two years later, it was clear the war would be a drawn out conflict with no clear victory. The Orwellian video was directed by Jake Nava, whose other work includes Beyonce's Single Ladies, (laughs) put a ring on it, and Shakira's She-Wolf. That's kind of interesting to go from that to Single Ladies and She-Wolf. Not that there's anything wrong with Single Ladies and She-Wolf, that just made me laugh for some reason. In the video, the band is surrounded by soldiers who wear mind control helmets, flashing words like obey and buy. The band played this on Saturday Night Live, May 7, 2005. They brought their own F-bombs, which NBC muted. It was Saturday Night Almost Live. They used a five-second delay. At one point, however, they took a close-up of guitarist Darren Malakian. Let me look this up. I'm terrible with names. Malakian, I believe, who yelled F yeah. This made it on the air and created a stir. (laughs) The band performed aerials later in the show without incident, but were never welcome back. That's kind of cool, though. I I like that. I like that kind of story. But yeah, I really like the song. I like the meaning behind it. I kind of liked the just the contrast in the video and in the sound, how it goes from like serious intenseness, which I think if you're talking about wars, that could signify or represent that. And then with the people that are just partying and dancing i feel like it's just kind of showing a more ignorant side compared to what else is going on in the world that's what i get from it i mean you guys can let me know what you think as for me knowing system of a down songs i know like a handful of them and even with that i don't know the music videos i mean maybe i kind of feel like if i think of ariel's i picture a white background and him like singing into a microphone just kind of like floating back and forth while he's singing maybe but that was a really long time ago so i would listen even the songs that i do know i would watch videos for them or performances like i always say i don't want this to be just a reaction channel i want it to just be a channel where we hang out and listen to music together and just kind of dive deeper into the meaning of songs or performances i just think that's really fun so you guys can let me know what i should check out next but i will end this one here thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye